Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video. This is going to serve as kind of a follow up to the first video I made detailing some of the changes made in the Drug Wars DLC. Now that we've had more time to soak in a lot of the update and experience more issues with it, I want to talk about some changes that I didn't mention in my other video and some major game breaking problems that need to be resolved ASAP. Most of these, if not all of these, are completely off the patch notes and you'd only notice them if you experienced them for yourself or were told by someone else about them. But before we get into that, let's go over what happened yesterday. So yesterday we got a background update and also a small downloaded update. The background update fixed a few things. I'll post a picture here on the screen from Tez. I personally never ran into any of those issues, but if you have experienced any of those, hopefully now you don't. The business battle bug we will come back to because there is another problem with business battles at the moment that we're going to be discussing later. And I'm wondering if those are the same thing. And the actual patch update that you were required to download yesterday before hopping on the game, at least on the next-gen versions, it fixed various crashing and stability issues in GTA Online, and that's coming straight from their patch notes. Of course, they don't get too specific with what kind of crashes or stability fixes they're talking about, and that's where we come in. It looks like this was intended to fix the issue with the up anatomizer along with the festive tint on it. Apparently, if you brought the weapon out and fired it, it would just crash your game every time. And I believe it also had something to do with the Fidelity Graphics Mode option. I once again, fortunately, never had any game crashes from this problem, and I've used the update atomizer multiple times since the update, so I guess I just got lucky. If it did have to do with the Fidelity Mode option, that's probably why, because I don't play in Fidelity Mode when I'm playing online. Another thing that was seemingly fixed, and I guess this could also have been fixed with the background update too, was a bug where the game would kick you out of your interior building if someone in the session started up a CEO job. So for example, you could be in your acid lab in the interior of that, Someone could start up a headhunter and it would then kick you out of the back interior. That has apparently been fixed. But now it's time to get into the real meat of this video. There are a lot of things that have been either broken or changed on purpose or by accident that are still problems at the moment when I'm making this video. I'm going to start out with the biggest issue right now and then we'll go from most problematic to least problematic. There seems to be a very major issue where the game just stops receiving your input at all. And this is confirmed to be an issue by many people that I can vouch for. In my stream chat, tons of people said this has happened to them. Basically, you'll be playing the game like normal, doing whatever it is you're doing, doesn't matter what it is, and randomly your controller will just stop working. Only thing they'll register is the Xbox Home button. Any other input won't work in-game. And no matter what you do, you can't get it to work, and the only fix to it is to restart your game. So imagine being in the middle of anything important like a heist or a cell mission, and the game does this it's completely game-breaking. It's essentially just as bad as a game crash. And it also seems to be completely random when it happens. It could happen at any time. So more awareness needs to be brought to this issue because we really cannot go until the summer DLC with this going on. People have told me it's happened to them four times within a three-hour play session. Ironically, it hasn't happened to me yet, and I really want it to happen so I would have some gameplay to show you guys, but sadly, it hasn't yet. If you have experienced this bug, let's investigate this further and comment down below what console you're on first and foremost, and what were you doing when it happened, because as I said earlier, I think it may only be an issue on Xbox, as I haven't seen anyone on PlayStation confirm this exact issue happened to them. Now another major thing that is broken is the text chat filter system. You know how if you try to send someone a bad word through a text message in this game, it'll normally pop up and say forbidden text and make you rewrite the entire message? Well now if you try to send a forbidden message, the game will just kick you from the lobby. It'll take a few seconds, but you'll eventually get this error message about not being able to connect to the Rockstar Game Services or something along those lines, and you'll be brought back to the main menu. This in a way is kind of funny because now any brainlet that tries to send you like a 1-0 L's message for example, or even the phrase just LOL is counted as forbidden somehow, but they'll just get booted from the lobby if they try to do that, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But obviously it's extremely busted, it should not work like that. So those are the two major ones. This next tier I would say is a step down from that, although still annoying. So do you guys remember how Rockstar added in a great quality of life feature in the last update allowing you to eat snacks using the weapon wheel instead of going to the interaction menu? Well, they nerfed this feature, whether intentional or not. There is now a weird delay in between you opening your weapon wheel and the game registering you eating your snack. I encourage everyone watching this video to try this out if you haven't noticed it yet, but I'm sure a lot of you have. 
take some damage, go and open your weapon wheel, and quickly try to press up on the D-pad to eat a snack right as you open the wheel. It won't register the first press of the button unless you wait like a whole second. In the gameplay here, I'm repeatedly opening the wheel and pressing the D-pad one time only, and half the time it works, half the time I have to press it again for it to work. So this can get you killed if you need to eat snacks in a hurry and you run into this delay before getting shot and killed. It could be an unintentional bug, or it could be a purposeful stealth nerf that they tried to pull off. I've even heard people say that they might have added it in to prevent you from pulling out the phone when you try to eat snacks instead, but this is honestly way more annoying than that, having to wait a half second before being able to register that the snack was eaten. It is very annoying. Going back to business battles now, this is where I wasn't sure if the fix Tez talked about was this one or not, but apparently the hacks during the business battles to open the doors do not work. So the one at the foundry, the chicken factory, where you can hack the door to open up an exit or entrance, those just don't work. I haven't seen one of those business battles since the update to test this myself, but from what I've been told, this is still an ongoing issue. And of course, let me know in the comments if you still are experiencing this issue as well. For whatever reason, the nightclub activities that were added last patch just happen non-stop now. I'm talking about the one where you have to drive the VIP very slowly to the hospital or to his home, or the one where you throw the drunk guy out of the club. You can see here I'm going to throw this man out the front door, and when I get back, he spawns in once again at the exact same spot for me to throw him out a second time. So you can use this to keep farming popularity if you want to, I guess. It's just going to keep randomly spawning in either the drunk guy or the VIP for you to go handle. Here's quite a random change, they added in new options to the play report feature, or maybe they're just reworded options, but the ones that are worded differently are the glitching or abusing game features and the griefing or disruptive gameplay, which I don't really know why they changed this because they're acting as if reports for glitching do anything in the first place. I mean if they did, a lot less people would be in god mode, that's all I'm saying. And lastly, these are minor things, but still can be kind of annoying. They lowered the audio when inside RC cars. It's now very muffled and quiet, whereas before it sounded the same as in regular gameplay. I doubt this is intentional. If it is, it's weird. And some clothing options are completely bugged out. The recent Cincimito Cuban shirt is supposed to have a white shirt underneath it, but as you can see here, your torso now just disappears when you put it on. I actually have an outfit saved with how it's supposed to look, and the saved outfit still works, so something definitely got messed up somewhere. I also don't think this is exclusive to the Cincimito shirt either, but it's just what I've noticed so far. The most important things that need to be addressed are the controller input bug because that literally breaks your game. You have to restart if that happens to you. There's no other way around it as far as we know now. And the snack delay is another one that should be changed ASAP in my opinion because the whole point of that feature is to be able to eat snacks in a quick manner. But now it feels awful with that delay in place. It feels super slow. So I really hope that's not a purposeful change. Anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. If you happen to have any experiences with anything that I've mentioned in this video, or maybe even something that I didn't mention, feel free to definitely comment it down below. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.